Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Hey, my tips this week are around understanding why people don't buy. And uh, I've actually got three that I'm going to share with you today. And hopefully um, you can add some comments on what some of the reasons you don't think people buy. But here's, here's one that I think um, is fundamental to selling any product or service. And I believe it is clients don't understand your proposition. In other words, you're sitting in there in front of your client and you're not communicating clearly enough about the benefits and the way that that particular product solves your problem. What you're doing is you're caught up in all the jargon and all the terminology and you're presuming that your client knows all that. And so often that's the reason that they resist because they just un don't understand your proposition. So what you've got to do is get really clear on what makes your product unique and how it solves their problem. So that's the first one. The second one is bad timing. Sometimes it's just bad timing. That's okay. But what a lot of people do is uh, they hear a client say, hey, look, mate, it's not quite right. I'm, you know, I'm not ready for it. Can I think it over? And I'll come back to you in a few weeks. So what a lot of salespeople do is they go, think it over, think it over. Okay, what specifically are you thinking over about the product, Mr. Client? And give me some ideas on what you're thinking about so we can move the sale forward. I mean, seriously, that often is code for, look, I'm not ready. As long as you've qualified the client and you feel comfortable with that, sometimes you've just got to say to yourself, you know what, it is the timing. But what am I going to do afterwards so I can keep in front of this client so when they do go to buy, I'm right there. And the third one, I think, is the irresistible offer. The offer that you just cannot refuse, but they refuse it because it's too good to be true. And sometimes as salespeople, we get enthusiastic and we get fired up and, and you know, we start telling them how great the product is and we're going to do this and that. And they're thinking, this might just, is a bit, you know, this is a bit too good to be true. It's a little bit, you know, on the side of this guy is over the top. So th those are the three, three tips. Um, I've written um, a few more in my blog, um, uh, in the comments. So if you've got any more that you come across, let us know, and please make some comments and let me know. You know what is what, what are the, what what are, what do you think of these? And are there any others that you want me uh, to try and, and and give you some ideas and support um, to overcome? So that's my tip for the week. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you again soon.